The three families of innate immune receptors we will be addressing as important in mediating antiviral immunity are the toll-like receptors, or TLRs, the rigi-like receptors, or RLRs, and the nod-like receptors, or NLRs. Pathogens such as bacteria, like this mean-looking fellow in gold, or a virus, represented as the spiky red particle, can penetrate initial defense barriers such as skin, which may be damaged. The bug or virus can then enter the bloodstream through intercellular traveling and evading innate effector cells in the skin layers. In the bloodstream, we see the virus encountering a major innate effector cell, the macrophage or dendritic cell. On the macrophage surface, TLRs are part of a series of receptors which may bind the viral particle. You can also see the virus entering the cell itself through phagocytosis or endocytosis, a merging of the viral envelope with the cell membrane. Endosomal TLRs recognize double or single-stranded nucleic acids which have been liberated from the virus through its uncoating of envelope and nucleocapsid protein layers in specific endosomes that fuse with the TLR endosomes. The signal that passes can be mediated through subsequent phosphorylation states of the chain of molecules in the pathway, demonstrated here by blue shock waves or energizing forms. The adapter molecules include MyD88, a major adapter molecule of all TLRs, except for TLR3, as well as these characters, called TRAM, TRIF, and TIRAP. Together, they form a molecular signaling chain, passing the signal along, much like telephone poles linking together signals. But instead of wires, activation signals are phosphogroups, in turn activating the next molecule downstream. There are other signaling molecules in the cascade, such as TBK1. Activated TRAF6 is activating the I-kappa-kappa-NF-kappa-B complex, causing a release of P65-P50. The rest of the I-kappa-kappa complex disassembles. TRAF6 also activates IRF3 and IRF7. IRF3, IRF7, and NF-kappa-B are all transcription factors. Each will translocate into the nucleus and find their own specific binding or IRF sites on the DNA promoter region. Each DNA promoter region controls different sets of antiviral factor expression. IRF3 and IRF7 induce expression of type 1 interferons alpha and beta. NF-kappa-B triggers the pro-inflammatory cytokines IL-1-beta or TNF-alpha. Released by the cell, these pro-inflammatory factors can bind to specific receptors on the same cell or others, thus amplifying further production or triggering other cytokines, chemokines, or growth factors. This attracts other effector cells or activates memory cells to augment specific adaptive immune responses. RLRs are cytoplasmic proteins that bind ribonucleic acid patterns present in viral replication cycles that may be liberated from a virus as it uncoats, shedding its viral envelope, if it has one, and degrading the nucleocapsid as the virus enters into the cell. Upon ligation of the viral nucleic acid, the RLR is thought to spring into action, exposing a binding site for the interaction with MAVs, a mitochondrial-associated protein. Inflammasomes are supermolecular structures, which are in fact more closely associated with the nod-like receptor family, which are actually components of the inflammasome. The components of the inflammasome and its formation are actually depicted here and in the following NLR family discussion. Components of inflammasomes are NLR dimers, formed through their pyrin domains and card domains bound to ASC. In fact, NLRs, or nod-like receptors, are short for nucleotide oligomerization and dimerization-like receptors. Here you see NLRs joining the antiviral combat, appropriately in battle fatigues and in pairs or dimers. As shown here, the ASC molecule liberated from CARD ASC association converts the pro-caspase-1 into an active caspase-1. Eventually, the active caspase-1 converts the pro-IL-1-beta and pro-IL-18 
into the active ILA1 beta or IL18, which will instigate the ensuing cytokine cascade, which then amplifies an onslaught of immediate innate immune effector cells and factors, as well as stimulation of memory adaptive immune cells. To summarize, TLRs, RLRs, and NLRs are three key innate immune receptor families that are important for initiating antiviral immune responses through a series of signaling molecules and adapter molecules. This molecular cast and crew are shown in the credits that follow. Thanks from Imgenix Corporation and Protein Lounge.